today, but tomorrow, Good the day stuff. after, and the day after, and the day after. But also, we get to warm up a little bit. We see a couple of those morning clouds. We're going to see mainly clear conditions as we head into maybe the, eh, the last three quarters of that Monday, and then all day Tuesday, nothing but sun. Now, we are going to be looking on Wednesday as temperatures do get a little bit warmer, bouncing into the 60s. Handful of clouds. Don't really expect anything beyond that, but you'll notice northwest winds for Monday. That's the reason we're going to cool down just a little bit on that Tuesday, and then south winds return. That'll help us warm up into our Wednesday, but as we're looking at the next weather maker. There's this high pressure. You can see this big curve of these lines right here. This is that big dome. If this was summertime, we call this the heat dome, but not exactly me seeing heat here in November. So we're just sitting comfortably for right now. Now, as we get into that Wednesday and Thursday, noticing these lines kind of go more, what we call zonal, meaning we're sitting in a more neutral pattern, meaning it's starting to break down this high pressure is. And as we get into that Thursday and Friday, there's that low pressure system. We're going to start rolling through as we see these rain chances on that Friday. That's round one. And then we're looking as we get into our next weekend. Another low pressure. This one's a little stronger. It's going to swing into our area that Monday and Tuesday. Models have been kind of bouncing back and forth, pushing this uh, the freezing line to the south, pushing it back up. Last model run was showing the freezing rain. Last model before was showing rain. So we're kind of just bouncing in between. Again, this is next Tuesday. This is near the back end of our 10 day forecast. So there's still details that need to get ironed out. By the time we get into the next couple days, we'll have a better view of what's going on. Sun is now setting and it is looking a little bit darker out there. What time is it? 619 already almost completely black out there. Daylight savings, man. But again, temperature is looking on the cooler side. We're going to be staying that way, continuing that tumble downwards. We'll be more likely waking up to those temperatures. Again, clear skies and a lot of those temps in the low 40s. Could see a couple of those upper 30s as we head into that morning tomorrow. Winds might be trying to kick up a little bit as we head into our uh, temp, uh, rest of our day today. But we'll be cooling down and also watching as those temperatures fall down, getting into a little gustier conditions into tomorrow as well. Maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 miles an hour. So not super gusty, but you'll notice a little bit of those winds. And as we get into the temperature outlook, I do want to show you because we're watching this really fade out as we get into our next week. That high pressure, a lot of that warmer air is getting pushed into the eastern coast. And we're looking at below average temperatures. This will eventually make its way into our area. This is your next 8 to 14 days. And you'll see that on the 10 day forecast as we watch next several days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, each of these days looking pretty good. Temperatures mainly in those upper 50s, skirting into the low 60s as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. But as that rain chance moves in, weak little low pressure cold front moves through, knocks temperatures down. It'd be a cool but dry game for that Saturday. And as we get into our Sunday, Monday, temperatures try to rebound just a little bit slowly, but that next system going to bottom out those temperatures. We head into our next Wednesday. So things are going to be looking on the cool side as we get into our midweek next week. So enjoy this nice warm air as we head throughout the rest of this week. Hey, we're going to have more on sports coming up in just a little bit. Julianne, she's going to be breaking everything down. Notre Dame and what we had for the rest of football weekend all coming up after this.